Hi everyone and welcome back. So today we actually have a new little item. Um, it reminds me very much of the kind of mini brands and mini um, foods that I've seen going around TikTok and online very recently. So today we actually have a Asda's mini collectibles. So Asda is our, um, it's like a supermarket here in the UK. It's, I believe it's owned by like Walmart in America, things like that. It's a normal big grocery store. And it has brought out these mini collectibles. So there's 24 collectibles to get. As you can see um, on the outside here, we've got like Asda's own salt and vinegar peanuts. Uh, and we've got some other foods on the side. You get two items and the basket transforms. So that's very interesting to see. Now these are age three plus. They do come with very small parts. So they can be choking hazards. So just be aware of that. On the back here we can see that it does transform into a shelf and on that shelf you can place some of your tiny foods so these are all like Asda's own products you can see there is a one to five step by step so we'll see how difficult that is but firstly I just want to actually see what's inside so it does have a little pull tab I'm gonna see if that works if not we do have scissors so it is just breaking off some of the plastic. Packaging always annoying on, on toys. So let's just try and get it open if we can. Always have trusty scissors. So once we remove the outer plastic, we have this little cardboard outer bit that is sellotaped on. So we're just going to try and find the top of the basket, which might be <laughs> this side, and we're just going to slide it out. So we can see that there are items and little parts there in the basket. But we're just going to pop that to one side, because I did see on the under side of this, I'll just flatten it out for you guys, we do have our checklist, and we do have food items, drinks, snacks and skincare and it ranges from anything from like ice cream to dog food and um, we've got some yogurt, some um, butter, we have drinks from juice to almond milk, coca-cola and um, the kind of own spin on it and um, we have little onion rings, very cute, some dental chews for dogs, some shampoo, conditioner, things like that. So these items are really, really cute that we can get inside and ones that I'm very familiar with and you probably will be too if you're from the UK. So it's very cool. So I'll just place that to one side. Now our basket does have the Asda logo on the sides and it does have it on the back too. Underneath we have another Asda logo that isn't normally on the actual shopping um, baskets themselves. We do have two little handles here. If we pick those up, it is like a functioning basket, which is really cool. So I guess you could have it as a basket or a shelf. So we do have some other little bits inside that aren't the food. So I'm just gonna take the items out that we do have and empty that over there. So our first item is some See if I can get it to focus, it's very tiny. Some oven baked, so we've got olive oil and sea salt. Um, so we've got some croutons. They're in a little 100 gram bag. It does have down here, but it's very, very tiny. Um, the like ingredients, how many calories are in it, how much fat, salt's in it, things like that. It does have its little stamps. We have the design on the background. And even on the back, we have the little ribbed texture along the bag like normal we do have our information again some nutritional value information our barcode that gets scanned so they are really really detailed as well very very cute they are tiny so that's very cool our second item that we got is this carrot and co coriander soup this is a 600 gram tub of soup it looks like it is gluten free, if you can see there. And it's got a little carrot on it, some design. 
on the back again we've got our ingredients um, our nutritional values the barcode we'd scan and just for sakes it does stand up which is really nice it has this little rigid um, rim along the lid um, but I don't think you can take them off it looks to be like one solid piece of plastic unfortunately so you can't like place anything inside but nonetheless is very cute so there are two items now I did say on the back that we can actually split our um, basket apart so just looking at the instructions looks like we can take the ends off I just want to see with you guys how difficult this is to actually set up um, we can lift up our handles and we can fold them out as you can see it's now flattened itself itself up we can flatten it back down quite easily it seems back into a square but we'll try and make a shelf for now so I'm just making sure everything's clicked into place so now we've got it flat we can see uh, on step four we can place these little pieces in between just to give it a little bit more stability so between the two folds so we're just going to place those in between the folds again just for some stability just to stop it from um, collapsing on itself kind of thing we have two more left so now we have those pieces in I can't easily blend it anymore back into a basket so it does make it quite sturdy and then it does also say on the bottom of step four that we can hook at the sides of the basket to the bottom so if we look here there is like a gap so we're just going to try um, and hook these on so this is a little more difficult you have to really kind of push it into place where you want it to be might be a problem because we haven't took the handles out as well so as you can see they are quite difficult at first to get in and out hopefully with time that becomes a little easier so let's see if we can pop that on now so again a little bit finicky but we did manage to get that on and now we have to do the other one so you do need to remove the um, arms of the basket from the back and we have our second one on just make sure they snap together there and this is our end result now you can see if we push these down they do become little shelves which is very cool and our final piece that we do have is the as the sign and if you look here we do place that on the top so we're just going to clip that on and that is our little shelves completed and now we can see that the little food this is going to be a little bit difficult because the way i recall for you guys and um, but the little foods do just kind of fit on the shelves um so you can see they do just stand on their own we can place them on the bottom if we want to so it's a really cool idea. I do personally, I think, prefer the basket. It takes up a little less room. But it is a cool idea that you can switch between the two. It's not too difficult once you know what you're doing. At first, the getting like the basket handles out is a little bit stiffer. And if you can see the sides much longer. So it's a little bit harder to get in and out. But all in all, I am very happy with the items that we got. I do think they are very cute um, i did pay two pound um for this basket this set it was on rollback they are meant to be four pound and um, so you have to let me guys know what you think and then maybe i might look into getting some more to get in the collection maybe 
um, just have a little look at the quality of some of the others but yeah you'll have to let me know what you think in the comments below and let me know if you've ever visited as there what your local grocery store is and if your local stores do anything like this so thanks very much for watching guys see you all again soon